Well, welcome back. This is probably going to be my last video on the creation of this. When I first imagined this, I was thinking I was going to do some video on, on how to spray paint these in three different ways with varying lighter colors and just try to basically find the easiest way to get these things looking game ready and good. Um, but unfortunately, winter arrived in New York and spray painting outside really isn't an option. So before the weather got too cold, I did give everything one coat of this gray metallic spray paint just so I could use them during the winter if I wanted to. And honestly, I think it looks pretty good. Um, just with this, it's big enough that you get natural light shadows off of everything. And I did try to make all the parts uh, detailed and textured enough that they stand out by themselves. So here we are with the finished product. What I used to get this done, obviously I didn't spray paint it, but I did a lot of standard techniques. I used dry brushing, I used some craft paint just to save on my model, good modeling paint. I had some really old inks and paint and I mixed up my own washes that I used on this. Um, I probably wouldn't use much of this on actual good models now. There's a lot better stuff out there. If I had to do this again, I would definitely print everything 3D print, the sides in black and the floor tiles in a lighter color. I mean, honestly, this looks pretty good just as it is, but a single coat of spray paint, and I think you'd still get, you'd get the shadows, you'd get the um, lighter floor tiles where the light's gonna hit more, so. Just a suggestion for anyone printing out their own. Um, I also, straight, uh, straight from printing, this was not primed at all. This is just black plastic. A couple dry brushes and a gray and a lighter gray. One wash, really light, just in the darker spots and to tone anything down that I over, over highlighted with a dry brushing. And some little uh, brown wash to make a little rust color on there. And then obviously I added some like real painted highlights on there. I did a, I did a lot of these little flat ends, probably more than I, I should have. It, I got really good at painting the black and yellow stripes freehand by the end just because I got I did so many of them. Um, but you see here I just left one blank. This was sort of a mistake. I didn't mean to glue that on, but you got glued on. So there it is in just, just plain color. I did some colors with these hatches. I found that it looked a little better. I printed off these little door jam things on top of the hatches. Just to, again, add a little more interest. The more stuff, the more texture I found, I, just like in any model that you add, it's easier to paint. It looks a little better. All right, here's one with just a plain hatch with nothing over it. I'm also a hoarder, so I have a lot of little bits and pieces lying around. I think this was actually a fuse from a Christmas tree, but it looked like a little canister of something that could break and, and leak out. So I put that in there. Here's a room where I did some wires in it. Actual, these are actual wires. I just glued them in there and then um, repainted them. Some damage, some just various colors and stuff in there. Anything to really make it look more interesting without having to do a whole lot of detailed painting. Basically, that's it. So I think I'm about 100% complete. I've got just about, these are my last pieces, everything painted. I played some games. I'll show you some still pictures at the end and you can watch them at your leisure of what, what it looks like when it's fully set up. And you've got some Marines and Gene Steelers and blips on the board. I'm really happy with this. I think I'm going to enjoy playing with this uh, for a long time. And again, if you want any of these STL files, I can now link to my Buy Me A Coffee page. If you go to the shop, you can download these files. If you would like to support me, buy me a coffee, that would be awesome. Um, or if you'd like to buy a complete set, I have some on Etsy now that I'm selling. It is sort of pricey, but it's a lot of plastic. I mean, there's over 50 pieces. 
and I mean, if you look at the number of what it takes to do a do a full set, it's it's pretty massive. This uh, this is the first mission from the fourth edition of Space Hulk that I'm showing here, and yeah, it's it's pretty massive. It takes up a whole table. It is a, these are set up a little bit bigger than the original tiles. Um, the squares are about the same, but obviously the walls and stuff push things out a little bit. So, again, I hope you've enjoyed this series of videos, and I hope I inspired you to make your own or use what I have, or just paint and have fun in this uh, crazy Warhammer universe. So, thank you, and I hope to see you again. Have a great day. Thank you.